So you've just joined my Patreon, or you have some other asset packs you want to load into Dungeon Draft, and you are brand new to it, here's a quick rundown on how to do that. So you just need to take those packs, and if they're in zip files, unzip them into a folder on your computer wherever you want to store them, doesn't matter where. Then come up to Assets, and click the Browse button and browse to that folder. And then once you do that, you will see this list populate. If it doesn't, the general rule with Dungeon Draft is if it's being weird, restart it. So if you don't see them, accept and then restart. Once that's done, they should all show up here. You can see I'm a big fan of Forgotten Adventures. Highly recommended. Even if you do modern day stuff, they have great nature stuff. And you'll see all your packs. If you are one of my patrons, you will see all of mine. And everything that is on the Patreon should be up to date in what you're looking for. And so you just check the box next to all of them. I recommend when you're working with my stuff, no matter what setting you are working in, turn everything on. Because there's going to be, except for maybe something like VR, which is a stylized uh, virtual environment, and maybe UI. But everything else, you're going to find something in there that's useful to you. So you check all those boxes to select what uh, assets you want to load, and you click Accept. And then you go ahead and make your new map. Now, an important note here is that the first time you load an asset pack, what Dungeon Draft is going to do is it's going to go through every single object, a path, a wall, and door, and generate a thumbnail. And this is kind of an intensive process. Firstly, you can do them in groups, maybe two or three at a time. If it locks up, it's, it's already made some progress through what you've asked it to do. And so you can just close it and start again, and it's not going to start over from scratch. So if you have to do it several times, especially if you're loading all of Forgotten Adventures, that's how you do that. And you will see it iterate through, and then you're off to the races. Hope that's helpful, and have fun.